King Charles, the Prime Minister and hundreds of dignities from across the UK and the Commonwealth will remember the war dead and those who continue to defend our freedoms. Almost 10,000 veterans and 800 armed forces personnel from three services will take part in a march past. A two-minute silence across the whole of the country will take place at 11 o'clock, of course. And then wreaths will be laid by members of the royal family, senior politicians and dignitaries at the Cenotaph in London. And, of course, that's going to be reflected at war memorials right throughout the land. Yes, it absolutely will. Uh, let's cross to our reporters across England and Northern Ireland. Cameron Walker, Olivia Utley, Doogie Beatty, and, of course, Jack Carson joining us as well this hour. So let's start with our royal correspondent, Cameron Walker. Uh, and this, I mean, looking at what's happening behind you at the moment, Cameron, seeing all this sort of preparation going on for what is a hugely important day. It certainly is, and it's getting incredibly busy here on Horse Guards Parade. We're expecting just shy of 10,000 veterans taking part in the March Pass later on to mark Remembrance Sunday. And I'm joined by the Director of Remembrance at the Royal British Legion, Philippa Rawlinson. Philippa, thank you for joining us here on GB News. First of all, just explain to me how important Remembrance events like this are. Well, you can see the, the buzz and the community that are around us here on Horse Guards Parade, and we find this at the Royal British Legion every time we work with the, the armed forces community, past and present, to put on a remembrance event. It's really powerful for them. They want to know that their, their service on behalf of us, their sacrifice and that of their families is remembered. And that's certainly what we're, we're doing today, bringing our community together to remember those comrades that can no longer march with them. And for the first time, individual veterans can take part in this march pass, can't they? Just explain to me about that. Well, for many years, the RBL team have worked with regimental associations. We work with over 300 associations to mass almost 10,000 veterans to take part in the march past. But we know that the veteran community is changing. And some veterans choose not to join regimental associations for many different reasons. But they might have their own, their own small, more informal groups, or they might choose to remember individually. So by opening up registration, to individual veterans, we've been able to invite them, and I'm pleased to say that we have over 300 individual veterans with us today. Majority Army, but some RAF and some Navy, and they'll be formed up in the relevant columns. In fact, we have over 230 veterans from the, arm, from the Army who will be marching together, and that feels really powerful because we're all about opening up remembrance, remembrance for all. And of course, it's really interesting seeing people from all ages here at Horse Guards Parade, and particularly young people who perhaps do not remember uh, the world wars and the subsequent wars since. How important is it to teach younger people about remembrance and the sacrifices service personnel make? I think it's incredibly important. We think about passing the baton of remembrance on. And amongst the, the, the um, associations marching today is Scottish Little Soldiers. All those children have lost their parents in conflict. And that's very recent. And I think one of the things we have to remember is all these veterans around us. I think the oldest is a World War II veteran. We have um, a hundred-year-old gentleman with the spirit of Normandy um, marching. But many of them, as you can see, are much younger, not much older than us. And then, then we've got the children who are impacted by war, by war and conflict as well. So we have to remember our veterans, our armed forces community, past and very much present. And the relationship with the royal family is particularly poignant for these veterans too. I understand Princess Anne and Princess Royal will be taking the salutes for the veterans' march past. Is, is that something which veterans here look forward to? Absolutely. I mean, we know there's a very close relationship between the whole of the royal household and the armed forces community. And it means a lot to the veterans to have a senior member of the royal family here with them today taking their salute. Makes them incredibly proud. And our GB News viewers, um, with the help of Patrick Christie's, has managed to raise well over 230 £34,000 for the Royal British Legion. Uh, how do you feel about that kind of money? Incredibly humbled and thankful from, on behalf of us all to your viewers. You know, every, every poppy shows people care, but every donation as well enables us at the Royal British Legion to continue our work, to care for our armed forces community year round, supporting them in the way that's right for them. Philippa, thank you so much for speaking to us on GB News. Really appreciate it. Well, the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery will be here just before 11 o'clock and they will be firing their guns um, at the start of the two-minute silence and at the end as well of course marking Remembrance Sunday.